Hi students, welcome back to Computer Practice with Mr. H. Um, today we're going to do the rest of question 9a of your question paper. And just to draw your attention, um, we are doing question um, paper of 12 November 2019, question 9b, which you will find on page 28 of your question paper. So. Um, I will also make this question paper available in the comment sections where you can download the paper from there as well or we'll think of an alternative method if that does not work at this stage. Alright, so let's jump in. So if you have that question paper with you, go to page 28 and we're going to start with question 9a number E this one all right so e says the following use the appropriate function to determine the total of each column that one is very very simple it's very that's a basic one I'm just gonna take this away here this. here we go so basically what we need to do is we need here's the total we need to go determine what is the total of these columns I mean that's very simple and we're just gonna use auto sum feature so you can just use auto sum which is this little um, symbol over there it's a sum that we're going to do click on it it gives you a formula you press enter and you copy the you copy and you copy the formula simple like that if you want you can insert rand signs as well by selecting this contents over here we know it's rand we're in south africa so you can just uh, select the contents and then go here under the number field under home tab general you just change that to currency please do not choose accounting use currency if you see hashes students that means that your column is too small just make your column bigger and then everything will be visible all right so that's my that's my total worked out next question Next question. Use the appropriate function to count the number of clients. Use a function that allows you to count the clients' names in column A. All right, let's see. Clients' names needs to be counted. All right, so there's the number of clients and that is the location where we need to work out the answer. So I've just made an if there, so it's easy for me to, to find it. I'm just going to delete the if and I'm going to the formula that we have to use. And remember, usually the formula is equals count. Remember, equals count. But that usually works when you work with numbers. All right. Then you get six but they don't want us to use numbers they want us to use the names of the clients so equals count a needs to be used the a means alphabet stands for alphabet so count letters of the alphabet so count a and then you select your contents close your bracket sorry close your bracket and press enter there we get the same answer the next question G use the appropriate function to determine the average product price that one again students very very simple average product price must be in that cell so where's product price Mm, there's the product prices we want to determine the average product price so equals average and then you select the product prices and you close your bracket next question H mm, that's a bit too dark this 
Let's use yellow again. Mm, no, it's, it's that color. Alright, so let's see. Use the appropriate function to, to display the highest estimated yearly fees of the client's highest. Alright, we know that the formula that we need to use is max. So it's equals max. Max what? Let me just go back. Highest estimated yearly fees. Estimated yearly fees, here we are. So equals max, select, close bracket, enter. So the highest one is 36,690. There you go. That's your formulas for that. But we're not done. Let's go back to our question. Copy the formula to the other cells as indicated. We kind of did that by, you know, doing what we did. Sort the product code and the corresponding data in ascending order. Product code, corresponding data, ascending order. Product code. All right, so what we need to do is we need to select the contents and we need to pay attention that product code is in column B. So what we then do is we click on home. Well, this is one method. There's probably a longer method, but you click on home and you go to sort and filter. Don't use A to Z or Z to A yet. Rather go sorry rather go into custom sort custom sort is gonna ask you sort by what column column B and what order A to Z and you click OK all right the rest of the corresponding information will then also be um, displayed now nothing particularly happened let's I need to mess up the system here so let's see if I change this to no, it's going to mess up the system. But anyway, that's that's what you need to do. Okay, so you just select the information, sort and filter, custom, sort by what column, the values, and the order. And click OK. All right, so that's what you do there. Then the next question is display display the Sorry. Display the number. Sorry. Display the product price, the root price, root price per month, estimated yearly fees, total average. Basically, all the monetary, um, all the monetary figures, you need to display as currency with two decimals, and we kind of already did that by default. No, we already did that. We displayed all of them with currency with two decimals. Next question. Display the number of clients as an integer. Number of clients. So this one. As an integer. What is an integer? An integer students is a number that is not a decimal. Alright, so you can have six. You can have six rand. You can have, sorry. Let's make that a currency. You can have six rand. You can have six percent. All right. You can have six comma five percent. What is the difference between all of them? This is a integer. That is not an inter integer. Why? Because it has a decimal. That is an integer. Why? Because there's no decimal. And this one is not an integer. Why? Because it has a decimal. So an integer is a number that doesn't have a decimal. All right. So if you ever wondered what an integer is, that is what an integer is. And we've done it. It must be displayed as a simple six, no decimals. Next question. Adjust the column widths and row heights to display all the data correctly. As indicated in the screenshot, you may adjust the margins if necessary. Students, the point here is 
the document must look neat. Nothing must be cut off. Nothing must be... Nothing must look too big or too small. It really needs to be nice on the eyes. So you need to be the judge. You have to judge your document and decide, do you, does your document, does it look good? Yes or no? And if, if you yourself think it doesn't look good, then someone else will definitely also think so. Alright, so that's basically what that means. Then, next question. Adjust the column width, right? To display the data correctly. Save and print. And that's the end of this lesson, students. Join me in the next video where we will be doing question 9b, which will be basically show, show and hide the formulas. But we will do that in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell.